Today is January the 26th, 2023, and today is my 60th birthday. And I feel good, I feel good. I am going to do my annual tradition. I am going to get some hot coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. I am going to get something to eat, and I am going to the movies. My annual tradition. So how does one reach the golden age of 60 during these perilous days? Well, you know, everyone has their own unique story by which they reach their destiny. And this is my journey. Since I can remember every night I've gotten on my knees and had a deep conversation with God. Now, some people call it praying. I just call it a deep conversation. And at the end of all of those conversations, I always thank God for everything, no matter what the situation was, because if God put that situation before me, then God had a purpose. Always honor thy mother and father all the days of their lives or all the days of your life. They are the ones who brought you into existence and they deserve the utmost of respect. Love, take care, and have a parental relationship with your children based on dignity and respect. These are your parental duties. Trust me, you will reap what you sow later on. So always sow that which is good concerning your children. Now, a lot of us have various situations, circumstances when it comes to our children. Just do the best that you can. Whatever you do, love and respect your mate. Love and respect your better half. Like the song says, love the one you're with. Cherish your family. Hold it for a minute. Cherish your family, no matter if they are blood relatives or not. At the end of the day, family is all that you have. Treat others as you want to be treated. Enough said. Do not expect any reward. Do not expect any type of glory, any type of fame, anything seriously positive. If you do not put in the work, you have to straight up put that work in. Okay, where are we going to eat? That food was delicious. Now it's time to chase it down with some popcorn. But look, if you really want to make it to 60, you definitely have to eat good. Now look, I know what you're thinking. Just saw me demonstrate. But look, every now and then, you have to treat yourself with a little grease, a little sugar, little fatty foods. But on a regular basis, you have to eat the right thing to have a healthy body and a healthy mind. You must do that. Also, never invest in anyone that do not invest in you. Do not invest in any groups or any organizations that do not invest in you, ever. Always be the message that you send. You are responsible for your failures and successes. Always remember. Now let's go ahead and get some of this good old popcorn so I uh, can get my energy level up. Okay, the movie is about to start and I'm going to give you a few more tips on how to reach 60. Excuse me for chewing with my mouth open and a quick way not to reach 60 is to chew with your mouth open in front of the wrong people. So definitely you do not want to do that. But anyway, you always want to listen to a person's actions more than their words. Obey the law to the best of your ability. Life is much smoother when you obey 
the law. Respect your money. Do not worship your money. We use your money wisely to enhance the quality of your life, your family life, and your community, so to speak. Give everybody the benefit of the doubt, but stay vigilant until you really find out who they truly are, and if need be, make the adjustments. Now, let's go check this movie out, and when the movie is over, the final finale. Well, it feels good coming back home. The movie was wonderful. The food was wonderful. The day was wonderful. And my final tips for how to reach the age of 60 and beyond, basically uh, respect. Respect will take you a long way in life. You have to respect the fact that people want to love who they want to love. Respect the fact that people want to believe in a certain entity that you may not believe in. Respect that people want to practice a certain religion. Respect that people were born of a different color, a different cultural background, a different socioeconomic class, a different size. Respect the fact that people want to live the quality of life that they want to live. Because we have to understand that to save you a lot of pain and misery along your journey in life, you have to understand that the forces of nature dictates how people want to live their lives. And when those forces of nature are challenged, it could be very detrimental. So live and let live. I'm not saying accept things that people practice or things that people do, but as long as people are not bothering you, aren't doing any harm to society, let them be and do not break their peace and you will live a happy life. Diversity is good. So again, I thank God in the name of Jesus for allowing me to reach the golden age of 60. I hope and pray that I reach 61. But until then, happy birthday to me and happy birthday to you on your birthday. God bless you.